So, how do you perceive the world differently than I do? Well, I can guarantee I'm quite a bit more nervous than you are right now, but besides that, we probably agree on what reality looks like for the most part, right? Well, the sense-melding condition of synesthesia is giving us a new way to understand how different people understand the world differently. Synesthetes have additional connections in the white matter in their brains, and these connections give rise to additional perceptual experiences. Some taste words, some see colors when they hear music. But the synesthetes that I study, like DL here, have colors for each letter of the alphabet. And my research shows we can use these colors to investigate how language and memory work for everyone. So take, for example, how words are stored in the brain. So we have a compound word like rainbow, made up of two words, rain and bow. So how can we use synesthesia to investigate how those words are stored? Well, synesthetes usually give a word the color of its first letter. So here we would have purple rain and pink bow. But then what color is rainbow? My study showed that common words like rainbow are more likely to be given one single color, whereas less common words like seahorse are much more likely to have two colors. So what does that tell us about how memory works for everyone? It implies that words you see often are stored as wholes, whereas less common words are broken down into their pieces. Essentially, we're using synesthetic colors the way that biologists stain their samples for the microscope to make their structure and function clear. Now, some studies have also shown that synesthetes are better than normal at mental imagery, and we would expect that also influences their perceptions. So for a word like fire that's strongly associated with red, we would expect that to be more synesthetically red than a word like file that doesn't have a strong associated color. We might also expect that non-synesthetes might associate fire with red. So by comparing synesthetes and non-synesthetes, we can figure out how mental imagery affects language processing. So synesthesia has a lot to tell us still about how different people perceive reality differently. By studying synesthesia itself, we gain great insight into what the human mind is capable of. And by applying it to questions of language and memory, we're learning a lot about the processes common to all of us. Thank you.